actually we're talking about something that helps most of us wake up today. Um, have you ever wondered where you get that morning cup of coffee? The answer was really not that far away. A cup of Tim Hortons coffee is a common sight around Western New York. But have you ever thought about where that cup of coffee comes from? It's closer to home than you might think. John Maurer of Tim Hortons invited us to tour their plant in Rochester where all the coffee in the United States is roasted and packaged. The plant has been producing Tim Hortons coffee since 2002, but the company was not always the widely known coffee stop it is today. Tim Hortons started in 1964 in Hamilton, Ontario. So Tim was a hockey player and really trying to make ends meet, he started a coffee and donut shop in the summertime with a partner. That one shop expanded across Ontario and came to Western New York in 1985. Since then, Tim Hortons has expanded across the northeastern United States and this plant is responsible for supplying each and every American branch with its trademark coffee. We began our day at the plant with an exclusive tour from Garrett Dobash, the plant's general manager. Before entering the plant, we had to make sure we met up with quality control standards. I can't tell if it's all tucked in. You're fine. Do I look beautiful? Absolutely. Our first stop on the tour was the coffee beans' first stop in the plant. This is where the process starts in our building. The quality starts here and the unloading starts here. Forklifts are used to bring thousands of pounds of coffee from all over the world off of trucks and into the plant where they're weighed and labeled. From there, the bags of beans are loaded onto a cleaning system. A worker called a green dumper cuts each burlap sack of green, unroasted coffee beans and pours them into the cleaning system. Because it's a, a commodity that comes with, you know, across ships and everything else, you always want to make sure that what we're dealing with is a clean, a clean bag of coffee. The now clean coffee beans are then transported into storage silos where they wait to be roasted. Four roasters are used to constantly roast and cool the coffee beans. Temperature, timing, and output are all meticulously controlled and monitored. After the beans have gone through the roaster and are cooled, they're ground and transported into the packaging stages. Sheets of plastic are folded and sealed into pouches, which are then filled with freshly roasted and ground coffee. And after the pouches are filled, they'll come through, they'll get sealed, and then they'll go through a web. The web seals and puts a date and time on each and every pouch of coffee. The filling and packaging process fills 900 pouches, or makes 900 pots of coffee per minute. And that's what, that's what goes to the store. It's so warm. <laughs> Two weeks, all of this coffee will be at a Tim Hortons near you.